The Life of Leopold, Duke of Albany Prince Leopold was born on the 7th of April, 1853. He was the youngest son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha. His birth was aided with chloroform, which was a controversial pain relief at the time. Initially believed to have been born healthy, his health would decline over the years. Despite eating plenty, he remained thin and weak. When he was a toddler, he would move around and would bruise very easily. His parents searched for answers and the answer was a fatal one. He was diagnosed with haemophilia. In the Victorian era, haemophilia was often fatal and children born with the condition rarely survived adulthood. Haemophilia is a genetic disorder that causes delayed blood clotting and it is X-linked, meaning women who have two X chromosomes are able to compensate for an altered gene and thus are only carriers of the condition, meaning they do not have the condition themselves but they have the gene for the condition. Men having only one X chromosome are more likely to inherit the condition and suffer the effects. It is a genetic condition, meaning it is inherited rather than obtained during life. Three of Victoria and Albert's children would be affected by haemophilia. Alice, Leopold and Beatrice. Alice and Beatrice were carriers. Leopold's parents worried greatly about their son and no one would believe he would survive to adulthood. His family did not handle his condition well. Queen Victoria grew to be very protective of her son but to the point of controlling every aspect of his life. When he was eight years old Leopold's father died and his mother became grief-stricken and overbearing to her children living at home. Leopold wanted to join the military like his older brothers but due to his condition his mother banned him from service. Since he could not be physically active, Leopold turned his attention towards mental activities. He had the best tutors and Leopold was naturally academic, so he was a delight to teach. Once Leopold reached adolescence, he became tired of his mother's overbearing nature. He wanted to break free and Leopold decided university was the way. He pleaded with his mother to allow him to attend the University of Oxford and she finally relented when he turned 19. For the first time in his life, Leopold had some semblance of independence. While in Oxford, he studied a variety of subjects. In 1876, he received his honorary doctorate in civil law. In 1881, Leopold was given the titles of Duke of Albany, Earl of Clarence and Baron Arklow. Leopold knew that the only way he could ever truly get out from under his mother's thumb was to marry. He started his quest for a wife by looking around Europe for an eligible bride. While as a Prince of the United Kingdom, Leopold should have had no issue finding a bride. His haemophilia caused him to be seen as unappealing to many European princesses. Many princesses rejected him. His mother got involved and set him up on a blind date with Princess Helen of Waldeck Piermont. She was quite educated for a woman of her time and could compete with Leopold on an intellectual level. They were both impressed with each other and it wasn't long before they were wed. They married on the 27th of April 1882. The wedding was a fairy tale. They had a wonderful marriage and they complemented each other in many ways. Leopold gained much independence with his wife. Their first child, Alice, was born in 1883. As a child born to a parent with haemophilia, Alice was a carrier of haemophilia. But the impact of haemophilia would not be seen until many years in the future. Helen was pregnant again in 1884. The couple were in the prime of their lives and envisioned a long happy future together with their growing family. However, that was not to be the case. Leopold suffered from joint pain throughout his life and with the English winter, 
the cold exacerbated the stiffness and pain he felt. On his doctor's orders, Leopold went to Cannes for the warmer climate. Helen was pregnant and could not go, but urged Leopold to go. On the 27th of March, 1884, Leopold slipped and fell, hitting his head. He fell unconscious and died the next morning, from a cerebral bleed. He was buried in Windsor. His death devastated his young wife. His pregnant wife gave birth to their only son, Charles Edward, on the 19th of July, 1884, four months later. Charles Edward immediately succeeded his father as the Duke of Albany.